What's up, everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out the brand new plugin from Pitch Innovations called Fluid Chords. Uh, the tagline is the future of chord bending, and it truly is. What it does is allows you to use essentially MPE technology to bend your chords from one chord to another. It's best just to show you, but when you use a pitch bend on your keyboard, and I'll be using this one built into the plugin just so everybody knows that you can use it without a keyboard, you move everything incrementally the same distance. But if you're going from one chord to another, some of your notes will have to move different distances. And this plugin allows you to do that. And it sounds awesome. So first of all, I've got an internal synth in here, um, but you can also use any MPE capable VSTI or virtual instrument. I'm going to be using pigments later on, but for right now, let's just choose um, some factory chords. So you can see here, we've got a bunch of presets. I'm just going to come in here to cinematic presets drama and C1 is going to trigger a chord. And you can see which chords are being generated. You can see here it's a D minor. And now watch what happens when I move the pitch wheel up. Is that not cool? It's going to bend from C1 to D1. What is D1? So this is an F minor 12. So it's going from D minor to an F minor 12. If I go down, it's actually gonna to go to the last one, which is the G, which is an A7. So there are a couple of cool things happening. Well, there's a ton of actually cool things happening. If you look, it's actually, going from a six note chord to a five note chord. So these two notes actually bend to the same position. It's so cool. So that's on fixed. So right now, essentially it works just like scalar. If I press one key, the D1, and then I use my pitch wheel to bend toward the next chord or the previous chord when I go down. So that's if I'm just pressing E1 now, and then I can go back and forth. There's another cool one called Fluid. And if I set the sort of anchor no uh, chord, once I do that, I can then, with my keyboard or with my mouse, which I'm gonna be using, I can select the next chord. So I don't need to use the pitch bend to go right to D1. If I wanna go from C1 to the F1 chord, the G major, I set my anchor chord and then while i'm playing it i'm going to click f1 and then use the pitch bend now in fluid mode it doesn't matter if you pitch bend up or down all you're going to do is go to your target chord so i can do that however i want i can essentially make my chord progression this way Is that not amazing? It doesn't stop there. What we can do is actually load any MPE compatible synthesizer right inside of Fluid Chords. So to do that, I'm gonna come into Pigments and it's gonna load up Pigments and I can come in here and I've just got a saved preset, or excuse me, a liked preset that sounds really good with chords. And if I come back here, Does that not sound amazing? It truly is a unique sound. And I love that I don't need an MPE keyboard to be able to use that functionality because Fluid Chords is doing it for me. The fun does not stop there if you're a Scalar 2 owner. Because what we can do is hit clear. If I'm selecting one of these and hit clear, it will clear that chord, but I can right click clear and clear all. Uh, now I can use the learn function. So if I come in here, I can hit learn and then use my MIDI keyboard to trigger a chord. So if I hit learn, it's gonna load up whatever chord I played. But let's go ahead and clear that and open up Scalar 2. This is gonna blow your mind. I know a lot of you have Scalar 2. If you don't, this might be a good reason to grab it. So let me just make it a little bit bigger. Actually, this one a little bit smaller so we can see both. What I want to do now is send 
the MIDI from Scalar 2 into Fluid Chords. So on the Fluid Chords channel where it says all ins, I'm going to choose Scalar 2, Scalar 2, and set it to in. Now, you can see when I click a note here, it's triggering the pigment synth that's embedded in Fluid Chords. That's exactly what we want. And I can come in here and I can just turn off the sound engine. I don't want that. But what I can do is come in here to one of the preset chord progressions, something like, I don't know, Deep House 1, and come into Fluid Chords and hit 1 and just click through them. As soon as I play that chord, it recognizes here, and then I can just flip or click through them very quickly to load up the entire sequence or progression. And then I can close Scalar. And now I can come back into Fluid Chords. And I've got my Deep House chord progression from Scalar 2 loaded up in Fluid Chords, and I can use this chord bending technology to, to go between them. Is that not amazing? There is another way to use this. It's called the real-time mode. And for this, you need to play a chord and hold down a sustain pedal for the home chord. And then you can play your target chord and pitch bend all the way up whilst holding down the sustain pedal. I don't have a sustain pedal with me at the moment, so I can't show you that, but just know that that feature is there. This is, I mean, you have to admit, it's amazing. So let's come in and actually just one last time. I'm gonna come into Scalar and let's just choose uh, cinematic, I don't know, Kingdom Come sounds pretty epic. And just come in and remember, hit learn. It's gonna shoot back down to C1. And now I have those and I can play them. It is going to work best with things like uh, pads, something that has a long sustain that you don't need to keep pressing. If you're using shorter ones, Fluid probably isn't gonna be the one for you, or, though it could be. I'm not gonna tell you how to use this. I highly suggest you get in and do what you want with it, but Fix might be better. So I can also right click and transpose these as well. I'm gonna transpose everything here up an octave and see what that sounds like. And as you can see here, we can transpose by one step, down or up an octave, we can cut the chord, copy a chord, and learn a chord if we want to. It's just got sci-fi vibes. It's reminding me, and I don't know if this is true, but I heard that sort of pitch bending in the Dune movie. Am I incorrect about that? I'm pretty sure I heard that kind of wonky, cool sci-fi pitch bending effect in that massive movie. So shout out Hans Zimmer, whether or not he did it, he's a genius. He absolutely probably has and will continue to use MPE technology. Anyway, that's a quick look at how to get started with fluid chords and of course how to integrate Scalar 2 chord presets or progression presets into it and really expand the functionality of this incredibly cool, unique VST available now on pluginboutique.com. As usual, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.